Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, we're gonna do fake liquid droplets on After Effects. It's an effect that I thought I could never do on After Effects, but it's actually possible. So I have my scene here already and I have a background and text. So inside this background, I'm just gonna show you what I did for the background. It's basically just like two solid layers to create this gradient. And then I have two exact same balls. So if you go inside this pre -com, it's the exact same balls with gradient applied to it. And I just kind of like duplicate it. If you want to know how to do this gradients in depth, I've created a tutorial previously and you can watch and learn from that video. All right. So if we go back to the root folder, I'm just going to close everything down. The first thing you want to do is to pre -com these two layers. So pre-compose and just call it original. And then I'm going to duplicate it, control D. I'm going to pre-comp this again. So pre-compose just the top layer. And this time I call it liquid. Now, basically the original layer is just going to be the base layer. And then the liquid is going to be the droplets. So if we go inside that pre-comp and I'm going to call this layer big and go to your effects and presets look for cc mr mercury so this one just drop that onto your layer and it's already creating the droplets and it's kind of like explosive uh, animation like that and obviously you can play around with the animation and the look of the droplets so if you see under the effect controls the animation here so this is explosive that's why it's kind of like exploding like that they have like other type of animation as well this fractal animation sorry fractal explosive and this twirl twirl is just kind of like going into like a spiral kind of movement and this twirly similar to twirl this vortex it's like that and there's also fire it's really up to you how you want your droplets to look like but i'm just gonna choose explosive just because it's kind of like going down and that's kind of like the effect that I want. I want the drop assist just looks like it's going down off the screen. The next thing that I want to change is the radius here. So it's just kind of like stretching out the droplets and then like that. And you can also change the producer. The producer is just basically the source point. So just change it here. So it just kind of like starts from there and then just kind of like falls down. I don't like how there's lots of droplets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the birth rate to one, uh, 0 0.1. And then I'm going to turn up the blob birth size. That's basically just how big your blob when it starts. And then the blob death size is just how big it is when it dies down. So if we preview this. Yeah, I like the size of the blob, but I feel like it's still a bit fast. So I'm going to turn it down to 0 0.1 and see how it looks. Looking better, but I'm going to add on resistance. Resistance is just to kind of like resist the, the force of the animation. So I'm going to try maybe one. There you go. It looks much slower now, but it's a bit too slow for me. So gonna drop it down to 0.5 yeah it's, it's looking much better um, you can also change the longevity so it's basically the life of your blob so at the moment it's like two seconds so if you drop it down to one second each blobs gonna kind of like go out um, faster but if you for example put five on it they're just gonna like stay each block gonna stay there a bit longer so i think i like two that is fine yeah i think i'm quite happy with that maybe i'll actually turn up the blob size a bit more maybe too much actually now the next thing i want to do is to duplicate this layer so Control d and call that small so basically, we're just going to change the size of the blob. So I'm just going to change it just a bit smaller. Somewhere there, maybe. Yeah, and then maybe change the producer so that it 
kind of like moves differently yeah just play around with the settings you can also change the velocity maybe velocity 0 0.0 0 0.2 yeah it's just kind of like add um, an extra layer on top of the bigger blobs or droplets now I still feel like there's still a lot going on here I just changed the blob influence there and it actually kind of like reduce the blobs so I might um, change the blob influence on the big one just gonna like do that and even like the smaller one I don't want too many of it change the big one up, up it up a little bit okay now if we go back to the root folder so it's just looking like that now I'm gonna add an extra something on the original layer so go to your effects and presets and look for CC glass drop that CC glass on the original layer I see that it's kind of like making it a bit embossed and glossy that's not the effect that we want that's because we have to change the bump mat on the surface to liquid now you see there's like a lot of like this effect that we don't want that's because we have to change the property and we change it to alpha i'm going to show you what the difference is between this using cc glass and not using cc glass um let's see if we can spot something you see here on the p like the p is kind of like distorted when that droplets on top of it so this is with CC glass and this is without CC glass. So that's just like an extra effect. Same with this one. It's just kind of like warp the background. It's just an extra effect. You don't have to use it because um, I guess like if you don't use it, um, it looks cleaner and maybe you like that look a bit better. But I usually just turn on the CC glass. And you see that when I turn on the CC glass, the background looks a bit darker. So you can kind of like light up the background a little bit under shading and just play around with ambient or diffuse. I usually ambient is probably easier. So I just kind of like bump it up a little bit to make it a bit brighter. And yeah, that's how you create fake liquid droplets. It's something that, you know, I never thought I could do. It's almost there's nothing that's impossible on After Effects. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any comments or suggestions even, leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.